Hello guys and welcome back to episode 19 of my new account from scratch. I hope you are doing well today and I hope this video makes your day a little bit better. We've just hit 63 agility as you can see from that. I also got 60 marks of grace here, or I have a total of 60 marks of grace now, which means I'm only 20 away from getting the full grace full set, which I cannot wait for. The last episode, I didn't really go over my bank too much. The main changes I've got is what you'll have seen in the last episode, like the arc line and things. But I also invested in full of Varrocks and full Carols, because I do quite a lot of bossing now, and the top uh, of Carols and like the Varrocks helm and skirt and stuff is quite useful. So I thought I might as well get the full sets, just because I'm sure I'll use the skirt at some point as well. Obviously, the coif and the bow aren't too useful for me but i just thought i'd buy them anyway just to make the bank look a little bit better there we have the first gain of this video and definitely not the last 67 crafting two more levels sorry three more levels and then we are done i could probably boost actually now uh, to get to 70 so i can do the uh lumbridge elite diaries but i just thought i might as well get 70 anyway i'll need it in the future so why the hell not and checking this tree should get us to 67 farming, which it does indeed. I decided that I'm actually going to do some uh, yew trees for a little while, just because I need the experience as quickly as possible. I had a few hundred K left in the bank, so I thought I might as well buy the yew seeds. And uh, yeah, it'll obviously I haven't got the cactus spines because they are hella expensive. But fingers crossed to me, then don't die. I'm only going to be doing it when I've got the cash spare as well. So and the next run should get us quite a lot of levels. Whilst we're not aberrant specs this task, we've got a clue scroll, and the casket is going to be... Wow. <laughs> I mean, I can't really complain from my uh, previous look, but holy crap, that is bad. <laughs> so, Star Marie, uh, as he's known in the Twitch chat, was dropped me a donation of five room boots, so thank you very much, my friend. And we have Malone coming in with another 17 room boots. Why 17? That's such a random number. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate it, as always. So, literally, as we got back to uh, Aberrant Spectres, we got a clue scroll within, like, five kills. So, here is a reward. Slightly better than the last K. Uh, last, last clue, even. I think Gant was the closest guess. Oh, it's between Gant and Philip. Pretty close, boys. This next hit should get us 74 defense. There we go, boys. And he's finished off the kill as well. Nice. One more level, and then start training attack again. Alright, so the next slayer assignment is going to be Dagonoffs. No one guessed Dagonoffs. I'm going to cannon them and get them done nice and quick. So whilst we're doing our Dagonoffs task, we got a medium clue scroll. And the chat said to go ahead and do it. They've all thrown their guesses into the uh, Twitch chat now to see what it's going to be. And we get... Oh, I thought it was a decent page then. 16k clue. Who was the closest? Um, rendering with 15k. Grats, man. After trying to record this like three times... Hopefully, this should be the reward. Let's see. I'm actually digging the right spot. That might help. Hey, finally got the casket. Let's see if it was worth it, boys. 3.4k. Next slayer assignment is going to be Dust Devils. You know them in the catacombs, I believe. No one guessed that right in the chat. Right, I fucked up on KC and I messed up hitting the... Uh, Getting the door, so I can't get Darok here, so I might just open the chest and see what I get. Oh shit, apparently I can get Darok. What the fuck? Um, rip me. Alright guys, so I fucked the uh, chest up again. Uh, well, the door's up again. So, just proving to the chat that the Barrel's Brother isn't supposed to spawn at the chest if you don't get the last brother. Uh, or sorry, if you fuck up your door, the Barrel's Brother won't spawn at the chest. Uh, but anyway, let's see what we get from our loot. Yeah, another crap loot. I can't really expect too much from that, though. I did fuck up. Right, so the first chest of the night we've not made... Sorry, not messed up on the doors. Yeah, good luck pre-made, mate. We get a Varax Flail. I will take that. That is another item in the bank. Happy days. I might have got that a lot sooner if I weren't cocking up on the doors so much. Chest number 94. Oh, unfortunately, we don't get back-to-back -back items. I'm going to presume you want to give me some room boots here, but I never know. 50 more. Guys, you're so fucking generous. Thank you so much, pre-made, man. Cheers, pal. Hopefully that wasn't the last of your bank, but yeah, thanks, man. I appreciate that so much. Hacky, mate, can you update the room boots command? We've got 3,915 now. Holy crap, that's a lot. See what our next chest is going to hold for us. Oh, them death runes. That is a nice amount of death runes. Chest number 96. Good luck to this guy. Oh. Oh, that's, that's a painful chest. Yeah, Dulka, mate. Hope you get a better loot than I got, pal. Number 67, and we get... These chests are getting really bad tonight. 
Wow, Hughes is bang. <laughs> Thank you, 3B, mate. Good luck, pal. Best of luck, mate. So, my chat was polite enough to remind me that uh, I said 67. Chest number 67 before. Just a few off, but yeah. Coming in with chest number 68. Hopefully, it's better than the last chest. Doesn't really make up for it. We're getting some pretty shocking chests at the moment. Carried on with the way tonight. It's been going. Here's number chest. Sorry, here's chest number 69. I know it's 99, but I keep fucking up and saying 60, apparently. So, Darox Helm. Nice. Another item. Jesus Christ, man. I will take that. Thank you. There we have it boys, 78 range. This is our 100th chest now. Uh, everyone wants to come and say hi, so everyone say hi to YouTube. Let's see what we get out of the chest. Hopefully we can get something that's decent. Boom, nothing. Ah well, it's been a good night boys. Chest 100 has been completed. It seems like so long ago when we was doing like chest number one and two. Jesus guys, yeah, everyone's saying hi. Yeah, thank you everyone that came here by the way. <laughs> Coming in with 54 Herblore. I decided to start using the drops I get from Ranars and stuff and making them into prayer potions whilst using the um, Amulet of Chemistry. Someone in the Twitch chat recommended it. And I think it's actually a really good idea because it should save me some money, fingers crossed. And obviously, I, I use prayer pots like every single day. So hopefully, it pays off. And we get a Mr. Cast off. Rip. I got a Dark Totem piece up. Finishing the night off with a farm run and this should get us to 68 farming. There we have it boys Yeah, before when I was actually doing the barrels chest I kept saying 67 68 and 69 instead of 96 97 and 99 I do apologize for that. I have no idea why I was saying it. I'm probably just absolutely knackered Obviously I've been working all day and streaming at night. So yeah, get this farm run done and I can finally go and get some sleep Starting off today with 69 farming. I tell you what, doing them um, them U trees whenever I can afford it is definitely going to help getting my farming level up. It's like 7k per tree you do. It's a long way until 70 though, and even longer way until 78, but we'll get there. There we have 64 agility. I finally started doing um, high alkin whilst I'm running around the agility courses. Two birds with one stone, and I'm actually making money from doing it. I'm buying the magic longbows and I'm crafting the. I'm using a uh, fire staff, obviously, but I'm also crafting the nature runes myself because I need rune crafting experience anyway. So I'm actually making profit from alking the longbows, which is pretty good at the moment. I'm pretty happy with that. Well, I've been on the agility grind, and as you can see from my inventory, I can now buy the last two pieces of the graceful outfit. There we have it, ladies and gentlemen. The full graceful set has been acquired. There we have level 65 agility. I think I'm going to leave it there for a little while. Um, if I ever want to go to Tavoli now, at least I can use a summer pie and boost to 70 so I can get through that shortcut. I'm definitely going to get it up again in the future. I'm not going to stop uh, indefinitely, but I think 66 is where I need to leave it in order to do the achievement diaries. So yeah, I'm happy with what I've got, boys. I am happy. Okay, so everyone on my live stream keeps asking me when I'm going to imbue my Warriors Ring. I think it's about time I do it. I've got the points for it, so there we go. I now have the Warrior Ring imbued. I believe it doubles the uh, slash on it. I should be able to sell from my chat box. I'm finally training construction. I'm hoping to get to level 50 today and then build a portal room, which should save me a lot of inventory spaces when I'm going doing stuff. Oh, you get back here. I hate you. I can't wait to get a demon butler, man. This one's useless. She can only carry 16 planks at a time. Uh, so I'm going to make two ladders at once. So I'll join you once I'm back at 50. There's no point going over each individual level because I know construction is incredibly quick and it's probably going to bore you all anyway. All right, I'm building this ladder. Should get us to level 50 construction, which means I can now build a portal room. Happy days. I'm going to go ahead and make my portal chamber and then I'll fill you in on what portals I have made. Wow, you unlock quite a lot of 50 actually. Uh, I've got the butler as well. I don't know if I'm going to get a demon butler just yet. I know you can lock him at 50. Um, but I don't plan on doing too much construction just yet because it's quite an expensive skill to train. Well, we hit 50 construction and I've done my house. It costs quite a lot to get it to where it is now. I looked at a guide at what the best like setup is and apparently this is close to the best setup. Uh, I've got a glory just behind the wall there, as you'll be able to see. I've got portal runes over here for Lumbridge, Fal I've got Lumbridge, Varrock and Falador over here. Um, I have Lunar Isles and Apatol there. I have um, Canifis, I think that's Dig Site, and then Curand. I have Camelot, Ardoin, and I haven't got that one yet. That one's going to be Yanil. I just need to do Watchtower Quest. I have my altar in there. This is where the Guardians are going to be with the pools and stuff. 
and then that's just three more teleports for when I decide what I'm doing. I don't know what's going to be in this hall yet. I think this one should be the one with the jewelry box in it, but obviously I haven't got that because I haven't got high enough construction level yet. But yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with how the house is now, and fingers crossed I can start just taking uh, house tabs with me everywhere I go, so I don't have to uh, bring like 50 runes to teleport. Alright lads, so killing this dust devil should get us to level 70 slayer. The grind is real. We can now kill Karask. I believe they're a pretty decent task for making money with. So killing that dust devil just got us to 75 defense. That should help us out a hell of a lot. Oh, 95 combat as well. I'm going to start training my attack now and get it up to 80 and then get all my stats to 80. At least my combat stats. Alright, so our next slayer assignment is going to be cave horrors. Finally, my first ever task of cave horrors. Hopefully we can get a black mask. I think this is our... No, it's not. I thought it was our 90th then, but it's not. Not quite. We're getting close to the 100 mark now though. Alright guys, so whilst we're in our cave horrors task, we got a hard clue scroll. So, let's see what we get from it. Holy crap. That was not even worth recording. Although, it's been better than some of my previous ones I've had. Wow, you kill these incredibly quickly. I, I genuinely thought these would be a bit, uh, like, a little bit harder to kill. I suppose they're not that high slay level though, are they? Cave horror head and a grimy qualm. Last kill of the- holy shit. Last kill of the, uh, cave horror trip and we get a black mask. They literally just completed the task and got a black mask. That is so lucky. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe that. Our next slayer assignment is Aberrant Spectres. Yes. Next clue scroll for tonight is going to contain 27k. Oh, as always, I always seem to somehow miss a friggin' level when I'm streaming. But yeah, we'll just hit 77 attack, boys. Someone died, so uh, I was watching them die and obviously just completely forgot to get the level. We'll bury their bones. Rest in pieces. Oh, we get absolutely nothing from it. I d what did I get from that? Marantils and Guams. Wow. All right, so our next Slayer assignment is Sakwash, or whatever they're called. Meh. I suppose that's the downside doing the Lunar Eyes, you get them. But they are cannibal and nice and quick. Oh shit, I'm sorry, Norm, I didn't mean to kill you. And it was a woman. Oh, feels bad, man. Alright, so, fingers crossed, we can get a better clue reward from this one. Come on. It's a page. Oh, it's 200 k. Okay. I will take that. It's better than what we've had so far tonight. <laughs> Record that for the YouTubes, one second. Got a God Shard Shard one, boys. That's my first actual drop. Who's that? Bookcase. Nice. Wait, didn't you get like three last night? <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, I will take that. Alright, let me take let me take a quick picture of this. Um, <laughs> nice yeah, one, lad. You doing the clip gems? Yeah, yeah, I've just done it now. So on our within our first hour of bar barrows, fucking hell, I wish. Within our first hour of bandos, we finally got an item. We got a bandos chest plate. We've had a what a god slash shard one and a god shard shard two as well. Alright boys, so we just finished our first trip at Bandos between five of us and our split is going to be... Holy shit, seriously? Oh. Yeah. Damn. That is nice. I'm gonna go back and do a second trip now so I'll fill you in on any drops that we get. Happy days. Better record. Alright boys, so we've just got another drop and it's in my name again. Right. God Sword Chart 3. Hilt left until a full I was going to say, all we need now is a hilt and then we've got full Bandos Godsword. Oh, let's go! Oh, well, that's just made bank. Hey. Nice one. Let me take another fucking picture. <laughs> nice, boys. So we've had a BCP, all of the shards, and tassets okay. tonight. Absolute bank from Bandos tonight. Happy boys. days. Until every drop. Yeah, boots, uh, and boots and hilt and we've got everything. Ruin it for the video, dude. <laughs> I, know, I don't, I don't seem to be surprised now. James, when is the next video going up? Uh, hopefully tomorrow. It's going to record this clip now. 5.4 mil from the Tasset split. Happy days. Thank you very much, everyone, for the trip, <laughs> boys. You're very welcome, man. Some 9 mil split. Yeah, cheers for having us, man. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you're very welcome, mate. There we have 68 crafting, lads. Uh, I think this is where I'm going to wrap up the episode. We have made some insane gains this episode man we've made so much money i made like eight mil just in this episode alone from bandos i've been so happy with the look that has carried on on my account it's been unbelievable especially with you guys as well like you guys in the cc seem to be getting incredibly lucky when you go in doing trips and other things and like i'm just happy for everyone that keeps getting drops and uh, the luck is just being shared around with between the people in the cc which is fantastic to see 
As always, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button down below. Subscribe if you're new here so you don't miss out on any of my future content. And for everyone else, I will see you in the next one.